Hello and welcome back everybody, it's your buddy Isaac. <clears throat> so, just to give you guys a recap of what's been going on. Uh, I've been trying to record videos for the last couple of times doing this, but every time it seems like something goes wrong. And it got to the point that literally we were so far into the game that if I tried to make a second video there, you guys would have missed a lot. So I decided to delete my save and try for again. Why? Because, well, I like you guys. As it so happens, I like my subscribers and I want you to be able to share in this little experience with me. Give this guy his worm pull. You can also come over here and show this young, this nice lady the entry for Starly. <laughs> Her surprise look, of course. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly. I don't know about that. There might be a few there. Okay, so I actually have to show her Starly in a minute. We'll report to the captain. If you have a progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Here you go, ma'am. Hmm, you've made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you are officially obtained the rank of first star in the galaxy team. Woo! You can now use heavy balls. Let's not make any jokes there, folks. You obtain heavy ball crafting. Yeah. The stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us is a testament. Your need of talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on faith's value alone. And proving your worth by moving th up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you do fall from the sky, People may be willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs with greater rewards. Yay! For today, at least you've earned yourself a whim, a meal at the Wallflower, and a good night's rest. So, just to go over a few things that I changed with this new game save, I actually got Cyndaquil instead of Arwat. So Isaac, my boy, I believe a jolly good congratulations in them is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our survey core duties and the requests from folks here. Which reminds me, have you already taken on that request from the Bureau Guard? People of Jubilee aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if problems arise, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lap. Speaking of which, weren't you supposed to approach with a recent Request, Akari? What's it all about? About that, I was thinking maybe Isaac could handle it for me. I was told it would require a bit of skill building Pokemon, so... Ah yes, the request came from Maya of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. 
The people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. <clears throat> if we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them. Including more about the Loki po local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. All right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. If you've got a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the Plasters to change up your team. <sighs> well, I mean, this whole game is pretty much catch them all. In more ways than one. Time to show her a Starly. The smooth curl of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely. Through and through. I adore it. Down to the last feather. Well, hello, so hello there, Starly. Want to touch it? No! <laughs> I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually be do something so frightful? Let's approach a Pokemon willingly. All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about the Pokemon in that Pokédex might put them any more at ease. Except all this effort will go to waste 300 years later. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I know you're busy. Listen, I've had an epiphany. Oh god, is that all? And that is, is everything alright? Uh-huh. You see, I've got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got work to work together to help complete the Pokedex. Your partner? Yes, here, this is my partner, Pikachu! It's an electric rat. Kill it. <laughs> as every Pokemon fan in the world screeches in unison as I said that. When you were attacked by those Shinx, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle it. And Ling as a team. Ever since then, my partners refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him, how to guide him in battle. Pika! But when I saw you and your Pokémon work together, I realized that we needed to do more. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. She sends Pikachu. Go, Cyndaquil! There goes Pikachu. As much as phone and alarm goes off as he's trying to sleep. Phew. 
Phew, thank you for battling us. I could be wrong, but for a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Pika! <laughs> G guess I was wrong, then. But I'll start to work more as a team with my partner, the way you do. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have things called types, which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu seems to be an electric type, for example. Right, so... The circles... me... So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about? Here comes Big Mama Zizu. Zizu. The name's Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fighting you. Figured I'd stop by and give what advice I could. Why am I giving her a southern twang? I don't know. Captain Sizu is a master of an ancient martial art, one that specializes in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in the strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterwards it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a moon will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards. Truly favorable conditions, it might even get off two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which one is right for the situation. Direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Mm-hmm. Zizu's teachings should serve you well when you go up against the top Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time I went to meet Mai. You remember I mentioned that the Wallflower that I could use your help with Mai's request. I'm to meet her down past the food of Aspiration Hill. You should come as well once you've ready to your Pokemon team and perhaps had them learn some new moves from Zizu if you like. So yeah, this is the lady we can actually learn moves from for our Pokemon. Alright, let's teach our Pokemon some new moves. Teeth Fangs? Thunder Fang? Yes, let's do that. Rock Smash! Bidoof! Hmm. Oh, 
All right. That so our friend can actually, you know, use the ability. Ooh! Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Getting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. If you're a part of the Survey Corps, working to create the Pokedex, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day that you accomplish that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, bo oh, you're the boy from that survey corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here for a moment. I need to tell you about the great cake lure recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured over 20 years of mushroom foraging through foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folks around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. But you're the talk of the town, talk of the village. If people see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go, too. I'll teach you the recipe. All you have to do is return and... All you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge not from the forages of the, thy fellows, as the old saying goes. One springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Yay. So we've already completed the Pokedex entry for these Pokemon, so we'll just try and get past them here. And we play Pokemon Solid Gear. Or Metal Gear Pokemon, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Over here! Hi, this is Isaac. My, my, a new face in the village. No matter that, not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume you're prepared to help. I am one of the Wardens of the Diamond Clan. 
You may call me Mai. <clears throat> I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is... Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokémon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. The security core of your certainly wasn't up to the task. This is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing you know, any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Go still cook. Oh no! No! Ah, uh, this might not end well. Super effective. Ow! Poor Silcoon. Poor Silcoon. Oh! Rock smash. Beautiful. Use Rock Smash. Punch Lacks defeated. Mun. You really aren't one of those usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. You obtain five booty tokes. You and your Pokémon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokémon causing trouble on De Deer Track Heights. It is a large, fearsome foe like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? God is sending me a text message. That thing you have, it's showing you where you've got to go, isn't it? My, my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to detract hearts up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands. You'll do great out there, I know it. Seems you have quite the asset to the servo Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the mighty Sido? Almighty what now? <laughs> I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sido steers all time. It's said to have created the vast universe using its power over time's flow. This land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of the almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of the people who crossed the sea and settled in here in the Hisui region to venerate almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human. But the old tales are to be trusted, but there are still Pokémon here today in Hisui with a connection to the Almighty Sinnoh, and that is the duty of Warnens, like myself, to attend to their needs. The Pokémon that graces Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is a directly descended from a Pokémon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me, and you may understand. Neat. So. 
Now we have more Pokemon to catch. Go! Offer oh, peace. Aha, we've got a quicker tune. Well, that's another Starly. We don't need more Starlies. I might just cut another Starling. Yep. Not like we really needed more of those, but hey. Thunder shot. Pokeball. Go. Haha. <laughs> Heal up our shanks. So we're going to try and level up our Pokemon here. In part by catching more Pokemon. Yeah, that's a level 30 alpha. I don't think we want to try and mess with that right this second. Alphas are not fun. Ow. Poor Shinx. Can't catch a break. Heal up our Pokemon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Oops. Oh, that'd be awesome. These will not be able to fight again. We can gather these without getting noticed. Woo! We are not going to be murdered by by an alpha seal monster today. Captured ourselves a you dude. Now let's see if we can catch us more geodudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that up ahead. I don't know what that is. Is that a chimchar? Smack him side of the head with Pokeball I did. And of all the Pokemon. You wish to evolve it, yes. Do, 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 do. And now we have a butterfly. Catching Pokemon today. All right. Getting the dang Pokeball. Yes. All right.
Go get him, Buzel. Pokeball. Get caught. Get in my ball. There we go. Another Geo dude. Use Aqua Jet, Beelzel. Use Pokeball. Woo! Our Starling can evolve now. Time to make our evolved bird Pokemon even bigger and uglier. Nice pompadour look there, buddy. Should I kick your Pokemon? Uh, yes, I can catch it. Another Pokemon we can evolve. Before long, before we go face this alpha, we may even have our entire team evolve, which is actually a good thing. Now excuse me while I craft more on Pokeballs and hopefully this giant deer in front of me will not notice my existence. <laughs>
All right. All we gotta do is sneak up on this deer. Catch him. Nice. Is it me or is like catching the deer actually get me more XP than like anything else I've caught so far? Get caught in the Pokeball. Welcome to Isaac and Friends, where we stuff animals that can shrink into tiny balls. Why? Because we're part of the Survey Corps and apparently I search it. Bear, zoo bad unaware. You just roll out, Cyndaquil. Oops. Wasn't actually trying to kill the Pokemon or knock it out. Sorry, this is a family friendly game. You know, a thought has occurred to me. There has got to be some poor bugger back at, like, Galaxy Team HQ that is like, Why do they keep catching, like, 300 of the same Pokemon? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> that was not my intention. Oh no, 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 no. I thought I had my freaking Pokeballs, not. Pokemon. Turning a satchel. That is an angry elf. I'd rather not deal with that. Yes, I think we have officially completed. Or at least I would think we have completed the Pokedex entries for both Geodude and Zubat at this point.
Like I said, there's gotta be somebody out there that's going, okay. I really wish they'd stop sending me giant rock things. <laughs> So let's go face the alpha that we're supposed to be here to face. And hope to the gods that we're not going to die horribly. Are the four faces of our Pokemon who get smashed? Send a quilk in the ball. Quillava. Oh, so you even decided, so even your professor decided to join us. Whew, thank goodness. I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss it. I miss it out of chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you stay out of the way. Do you know the way, brother? <laughs> why did that pop up in my head? Why? Why a very dead meme? The lily -li -li whoop! That's not it. That's only a troublesome maker here to disturb the peace with its racket. The lily -li -li whoop! That's what you're here for, Isaac, to drive the interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokémon are ready for battle. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokémon are feared across the land. If they're all as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They're strong and may... No moves that others of their kind do not. They're, they're not to be trifled with. Let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are stronger than, still than this Alpha, so go show it that. Beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Isaac. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this Alpha is powerful and, har and a hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Because they are... Very difficult to catch bastards. Go, Quilaba! Ember. Strong style. Freaking.
Hmm. And there was some gas. I was trying to catch him, but what had to be done had to be done. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that. It truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokémon are taken care of after facing such a foe. Why here? What? What in the world? Old Man Wizard Deer. It's the Great Weird Deer. He looks upon you with kindness, Isaac. I'd say the great weird has taken weird ear has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Lavington, Isaac. Captain Celine sent me. She said that once Isaac carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a camp base camp. Ah, uh, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adam and, and the commander, but still. Is it truly fine for us to set up a more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Seno for the sake of its Pokémon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokémon, then I imagine that you should also be allowed to use this land. The, we the Great Weirdeer has also taken a liking to Isaac as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Mission request from my complete. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up if, once the Kira Construction Corps arrives. And we have it, a new base camp upon Deer Trek Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set up from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp is, to start with will be great help on the surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What do you say we all head to back to the Wallflower? <laughs> yeah, 5,000... Moonies for the hat. Me. Mm. And we've earned ourselves another stop. Any old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. <laughs> I 
Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzy cleaver from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical Corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is the Cleavor that was reportedly struck by the power from lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is ordered, the Super Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Isaac here can handle things just fine. As Zakari starts giving the stink eye to the professor. Are you certain? I've heard Cleaver is so mighty, even Alpha Pokémon don't compare to him. No, no. You forget that the strengths of Pokémon are key items of information that we of the Survey Corps are duty-bound to research. And since this personal work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order for after this fine meal. The next day. Good morning, Isaac. Oh, God. You should hurry to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. I don't want to be sumo practice. It doesn't sound fun. There you are. Let's hurry up to headquarters. Look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Senno's precious time by bowing to a sham. Oh god, here we go again. There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Senno as a ruler of time. My people from the follow the true Almighty Senno. The fount of all creation, the ruler of space. You could have all the space there is and still know what not what to <laughs> and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of vast Hisui space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up all on time, almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointless, vast space you're so fond of, and never show up. Me get lost in Almighty's great gift to the Pura Clan, in our world's very basis? The Pura Clan is our world's... you wish. Alright, you two, get a room. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Senno, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to the Commander Kamado's office. I believe it is was you who started this. You can feel the tension between when those show up to show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Rita, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who is... Going on and on about time, Adamant leads the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you go to report to him. Alright guys, I think this is a good time for us to... Stop the video for the time being. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoy watching us and having a good time with us here on Isaac and Friends. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoyed the video. Definitely helps us out in the algorithm. Or, you know, hey, even if you didn't like it, you know, comment down below, talk to us. It helps us get found out. We are a very small channel. We're just trying to grow. So, hey. 
doesn't really cost anything, and it really helps us out in the long run. At any rate, I hope to see you guys later. Thank you, bye-bye, and stay safe, my friends.